What is that? What's that, right? Right? The oh! Yeah, you see that, but there's a jet up there. There he is. Yeah, so sorry about that, uh, uh skinwalker thing. It, uh, it kind of leads into what the uh, video is going to be about. So, I'll, before getting into that, I'll tell you like a true quick skinwalker story from around here, supposedly. I mean, I've seen and heard a few weird things around here, but skinwalker I never did. Uh, so when these windmills were getting built, where are they at? They were, uh, when they were building them, they had security up here, you know, making sure nobody was fucking with stuff. And I guess one of the security guards got attacked by one. <laughs> Big long story. If I can find it, they was on YouTube. Uh, I'll try to post a link, but I can't remember where I did see it at. And I guess his Jeep ran out of gas and raining and he's seen big big red glowing eyes that's why i got these red bullets because they, they kill red eyes and i guess he didn't have i don't think he had a gun but he ran to one of the windmills and got inside because they have key codes on them and my buddy worked on them before and he sent me pictures from the top anyway there's a long ladder that goes the whole way up them and I think the blades are 100, 150 feet, so the tube itself, it would have to be over 200 feet. I forget how big they are. Right around there, because the blades are, yeah, the blades are probably 50 feet off the ground, so the tube's probably about 200 foot, 200 foot straight up a ladder. Like he showed me climbing the ladder. I've seen it in them too. It's impressive. It's straight up, man. So I guess he climbed to the top, and once you get up top, Hold on, let me see if I can switch you guys around here. Yeah, okay, that's a little bit better. So, it's the blades are 150 feet long. The tube's probably 200 foot. And there's a ladder that goes the whole way up to the top. And once you get to the cabin up top, I think there's another ladder that goes to the top of it. Just a short one. And I did see inside when they were building them. I got to check them out. And, Blue, come on, buddy. And uh, you can get on the very tippy top of it. So I guess the guy got up there and he climbed up top to see what the, where the creature was. And he could see it was banging on the door and stuff. And I guess it started climbing the tube. And he went back inside. There's phones in there. They're all connected. They can monitor them. And there's brakes. They can turn them on and off and stuff. So even if there's a little bit of wind, they have a motor in there. It gets them going. And once they get going, they... Uh, yeah, keep spinning. Anyhow, I guess he called his boss, and obviously his boss didn't believe him. And he he hid out inside, I think the bottom of the tube for till daylight. I think that his boss called him, came, picked him up. I guess there was like scratch marks all the way up and down the the windmill and stuff. And they had to repair it, and I remember one getting repaired. I don't think it wasn't any of these. It was like the one over the next mountain. I do believe. I'm not sure though. So that's just a quick story of a possible skinwalker around here. Like I said, I never seen and or heard, heard anything. You know, I'm, I'm always out here coyote hunting at night. Uh, I did see something, uh, maybe a UFO flying around. It was definitely odd. Maybe I'll do a story on it sometime. It was a bright light hovering over a power line and i actually went and checked it out and it went hovered above me you know probably 200 foot maybe not even that power lines around here 100 150 foot with no sound didn't really cast a light and i could even go show you where it's at and everything it was definitely weird i mean it wasn't a helicopter was no noise and me and a couple of my friends there too so we all seen it and it went darting up down the power line like Two point Jesus mock, you know. I mean, it was it was hauling. So, yeah. I mean, that could be a future story, but 